we're going to keep on with our healing theme in the sign of sidereal ephiakis or at hyoscopes known as Imhotep. We have Mars or Set, Pallas Athena or Nit. Sidereal Ephiakis is the 13th constellation along the ecliptic that has been left out by the Babylonian astronomers and astrologers. Ephiakis is one of the largest constellations along the ecliptic. It's located between Scorpio and Sagittarius. And how they managed to leave it out of the zodiac is beyond me because there's constellations that are much smaller that don't even cross the ecliptic that are major um, markers on the zodiac. Mars, as a planet, the energy deals with our force, our direction and life, our will, going, going for it. Um, and the, the downside of that is sometimes our, we let our ego go for it. And we're really supposed to let our spirit go for it. <laughs> we're supposed to step aside and let the spirit guide us. In the Natarian tradition, Set is the cosmic force associated with Mars. And Set represents our lower nature, our ego. What is it? Ego is um, edging God out. And in the battle of Heru and Set, um, it's really a battle of our, of our spiritual aspirations versus our ego nature. And according to the teachings, we are destined to win this battle as long as we don't give up. And so, and Set is in the sign of Imhotep, or Mars in Sidereal Fiacus. That means that our, our, um, our force, our will, our direction should be in the area or in the direction of healing, of our self-care. And I've just had an experience where I see that I, um, I let my self-care go. I let my ego edge out my self-care and now I'm paying for it and I feel so silly for letting this happen and I'm glad it's not a major health crisis where I need you know like an organ removed or or um, you know the only alternative is some um, procedure where I'm gonna need drugs for the rest of my life it's something that I can manage and I have this commitment to do better and not let this happen again so that is my set in Ophiuchus experience. Pallas Athena is the goddess or the asteroid that's associated with uh, protection, the warrior, um, protecting the family, protecting our love, protecting you know what's most important. Nit is also the goddess of, of the warrior. Um, her symbol is a shield or arrows and also a spool of yarn for knitting. I wonder if that's why she's called knit or where the word knit came from. That's a little joke I have, ongoing joke. But how it's important for us to protect ourselves with our self care and what can happen if we're not taking care of ourselves. We're not putting ourselves first. To me, I was obsessed with getting or organized and learning how to do, you know, all these, um, technologies and keeping up with the bills and keeping up with my dogs and all these material um, material situations but if I'm not taking care of my health I'm not going to be around to do these things so this was a huge wake-up call for me and like I was talking earlier about my schedule and my commitment to my schedule this is about my commitment to my self-care and hopefully this resonates with you and will inspire you to um, do better with your self-care. Mekumid, Mekum Nepusen, 
Please remember to do your self-care. Don't let what happened to me happen to you. Watch out. <laughs> 